Hey there, this is Nils Beardfoot and today we are making this leg viking armor. As always, start with the pattern, print it out, cut away the edges and tape it together. Separate the big pieces from each other and then cut them out in detail. Next up the leather. I recommend 3.5mm thick wedge tanned leather and you tape the pattern right onto it and then use an awl to mark the edges and cut them out. Moisten your leather completely from both sides and let it set for a few minutes. Then you can transfer all the ornaments from the pattern on the leather. For the lines that go parallel to the edge I use a groove cutter and I use it reverse so it only marks the area but does not cut. When the leather is mostly dry but still cool on the touch, we can start with our swivel knife, polish it and get the lines in. For the border along the edge, I use the Viking style knotwork stamp. And with a bone folder I deepen the impression of a border. Next up is the beveler tool. Go along all the cut lines and get a nice deep impression in. Also I got some scales in with a mool hoof stamp. Please completely ignore that the scales go in the wrong direction here. I use a stone for some imprints to get the leather a little bit roughed up and hide some mistakes. For some more battle marks I use my swivel knife to get in a deep cut and open that one up with my thumbnail. You want to bevel all the edges on both sides. After this we can start to use some dye on the piece. I use a brush to get just the part of the leather dyed, but you can do it completely as you want. Next apply two coats of resist to prepare it for the antique gel. If you put also resist on the edges, you can use the moisture to polish the edges. Next, the second coat of resist. When everything is dried completely, I put on another coat of the very same dye and before it dried completely, I tap away some of it with a paper towel, which gives a nice texture. After that, apply your antique gel and put in all of the small cracks and then take a paper towel and just wipe away all the excess. I use some acrylic paint on areas where the antique gel did not stick that well. With another coat of resist you seal everything off but make sure not to wash away the antique gel or the acrylic paint. Next, mark the exact position for the holes for the edge weaving. You can use directly the pattern or trace a line first and then mark the holes through the pattern. This will make it more precise. And then punch those holes. You can use a round punch or an oval punch.
For the edge weaving, you want a lace that fits to your holes, which is in my case a one millimeter thick batch tan leather, which is six millimeters wide in a five millimeter hole. You start by getting in the lace through the hole, create a loop and go from above through the loop, create another loop, tighten the first loop and then the second loop. Put it a little bit to left and the right and then repeat that. To get an even weaving along the edge, you definitely wanna test it out first. Getting the pieces into their shape, moisten them from the flash side and then bend them and let them dry. Use the flexible straps on the back side, put on some glue and then glue and rivet them on the lower piece. Position the two big pieces exactly over each other so the artwork fits together and clamp it down. Then position the straps and mark exactly where you have to punch a hole and punch that. Cut the strap to size, glue it on but don't use rivets yet, just clamp it. drying time you can use to prepare your attachments where you want to put your leg armor. Since I use carabiner, I prepare here some D-rings. Prepare the attachments for the carabiner with some glue, put the carabiner in and then glue them on the exact position. You want to punch a hole in the big piece first to know exactly where it has to fit and then clamp it down. When it's dry you want to re-punch the other hole and use some rivets to hold it in place. With the smallest piece it's exactly the same. You put the attachments on, clamp it in the correct position, mark the holes, punch those, glue them on and use rivet to hold it in place permanently. There you go, quick and simple leg armor with attachments. I hope you liked that. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Check out my other tutorials and also all my patterns on my shop. Ciao.